Welcome to the Hyperspace Vault. Hello, Star Wars fans and YouTubers. Today we have Forlom, which is actually a very cool figure. And we showed this in our um, haul video that we did. Um, yeah, like I said in the haul video, we found him at our local Walmart, which was like a huge surprise because they never have anything at our local Walmart. And it was like, I just couldn't believe that they had Forlom. So, um, let's get a, take a look. Usual Black Series box art. Uh, there's a artwork of him on the front. Now He's a, number 67. Now, there's a really cool feature that um, we heard of online that he has is if you shine light in his eyes, his eyes glow green, which is really cool. We'll get to that later in the future of the video but now we are looking at the back of the box it has really cool artwork it has the Hasbro logo and Disney logo at the bottom you can't really see that right now uh, but if I put it up here you can see it and then it has um, the Black Series logo and the number of which it is on the Black Series okay so, let's get to the description on the back um for long a rusty droid with insectile features. Forlom was originally a protocol droid, but logic glitches allowed him to escape his programming and become a bounty hunter. That proved a perfect occupation for the cold calculating mechanical. Wow, that sounds really cool. Um... It's, it's pretty cool to know about Forlom's backstory, because um, I bet when people went to see the when they saw the Empire Strikes Back for the for their for the very first time in 1980, I think that's when it came out. Um, they were like, "Who's that guy that looks like he has a bug head?" Well, now uh, since they came out with a Black Series figure, you can get to read the back, which it tells you a little bit about his backstory. But everyone knows Google will help you on your quest to find out about Forlorn. Just look it up on Google. Okay, we're going to Freema the blister pack. Okay, we've got him free of the blister pack and got him out of the package. And first impressions are, uh, this figure looks really awesome. Hasbro, once again, on their latest art Black Series figures, they have, they have been really been hitting it out of the park. Now, um, you can see that they kind of uh, washed this figure in some like rust looking paint and, and it's kind of settled in the crevices and grooves and stuff which really gives it that realistic rusty look um, another thing I really like about this figure is a lot of the parts are from C-3PO but they've added elbow articulation to this figure where C-3PO did not have elbow it is limited but that is pretty cool that you can actually move his elbows so that is really cool. He's got uh, swivel uh, wrist joint, um, upper arm twist. Um, this does not go up and down here. Um, his le his feet, legs, and uh, lower torso is, uh, I believe, an exact match of or actually the same mold as C-3PO. So he has a a joint, knee joint, ankle swivel. He doesn't have a double joint on his knee though, which is uh, which is um, perfectly clear why they didn't do that because droids uh, they don't have double joints because if they did, I I bet their um, their legs or arms would just pop right off. So his chest plate isn't the same as uh, 3PO, but it is um, cool. It's just like this. Um, overlap look that's on there the head sculpt is really awesome they uh, did the uh, insectile uh, eyes and they have like this glow feature if the light hits it a certain way it kind of glows green yeah we have our flashlight right here in, in the background so um, we're going to kind of give you a little example which is really cool how they did that I mean who else would think of that besides Hasbro? I mean, I think maybe Slideshow 
collectibles thought about it, but maybe... Yeah, if the light hits it a certain way, it'll naturally do it. I was kind of doing this to exaggerate what it would look like, but uh, that is really cool. In the slideshow collectible, they might have LED lights in them. We don't know. We don't have a slideshow collectible. That's why we don't know. So, the back side looks really cool. Now, the the part where he doesn't have plates, um, um, the part under his chest plate, uh, it has wires in it, and he just fell, but it has wires in it, same as C-3PO's, but it has, like, a vent right there, but behind the wires, kind of, and... What that's what C three PO doesn't have, which is really cool. How he like comes with different features than C three PO. Yeah, and I believe that they're. This is actually our first bounty hunter figure in the six inch line. So um, I'd love to get some of the others uh, to kind of have a collection of bounty hunters. Uh, but this is really cool. They, they did a really good job on this one. The the head sculpt is really cool, and I'm not sure if he is. His head is insectile or if it's droid i haven't i don't really know a lot about forlom but i believe he's all droid and he just has like an insect type head i believe but uh overall they did a really good job i love the the paint effects on this with the rust and everything he comes with the he comes the only accessory is this uh blaster which i believe is a dl t19 DL modified one or something i believe the DLT 19X is the sniper rifle one, which is basically the same exact thing except it has a scope and it is yeah. way more powerful. This one's actually a fast, like firing repeater, I believe. But um, here is uh, let's do a little comparison. Here's C3PO. Uh, let's get them centered here. We don't have uh, any other bounty hunters to do like a di diorama this time, so we're just going to do give you a C3PO here beside him to give you kind of a uh, comparison as you can see the legs feet and legs are the same the lower torso there is the same I believe the arms are the same um, and that's about it the upper the chest plate and is a different on four lines so overall um, I'm gonna give this figure uh, five stars because uh, they did a really good job on this figure on a scale to one to ten I would give this figure a complete 10 definite 10 because he comes with all these cool features like um like his elbow joints that no other droid has and his lighting eye effect which is really cool and it's i would just i just give him a 10 out of 10 now i'm not sure what this red paint on his chest plate is uh, if anybody knows, uh, can you comment down below? I don't know if that means that he is part of some syndicate or some kind of uh, uh, one of the, uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's some kind of bounty hunter thing or something or, or if he's part of like one of the crime syndicates or something. I, I don't know much about the Expanded Universe a lot other, other than, you know, some of the books we've read. But, um, um yeah, leave us a comment below if you can give us more information on that. And Now, what I meant about showing you guys the gun is showing you how it fits in his hand, like how someone would normally hold a blaster. It fits pretty good, but his um, hand right here his was a little snug and tight trying to get it to hang on there, which was um, a little bit of a problem, but... Um, over here too, it wouldn't really stick on his, uh, it wouldn't really fit. I guess because of, uh, this joint thing he has there. Yeah, but overall it felt, fit pretty good. His trigger finger goes in the trigger, and the second hand, uh, with the extra articulation in the elbow, you can put the second hand on the gun. So, um, overall it's, it's not too bad. It look, it work, it works pretty good, I think. So, uh, this wraps up this review. Um, please like this video, subscribe, and leave us a comment. Um, Alex, take us out. May the force be with you, always.